Welcome to our latest video. You are on board with the Motoromas. And in this epic, we're going to share our seven wonders of Western Spain as we travel north towards Santander for our ferry back to the UK. Coming up, Money Penny stumbles across a rare black ibis down on the coast. And then we travel inland to tread in the footsteps of Romans. I go on the hunt for a homemade submarine. It's true. It's true. <laughs> and we come across a watery grave in the mountains. And we finish off our trip with one of Spain's most beautiful villages. It's been an epic trip. You're going to love it. You've got to keep tuned. Hey, we've got a show for today. Whoop, whoop. Nice. We are going to pronounce it because you do it so beautifully. Mejor de la Frontera. What she said. But uh, it's it's a mountain top village, well, hilltop village that is close to Kono. And we're going to show you around. We're going because we miss Morocco so much. We're going to a Moroccan restaurant. Can't wait. I'm so excited. You have to come here. I'm going to give you the coordinates. You have to come here. If you love Morocco, look at these puddings. Vejedra Frontera, Vija to you and me, V-E-J-E-R. What a cool place this is. Today we are bringing you live and direct to Spain's Costa de Luz Conil, another lovely white town. And we're going to show you around. Fancy coming? Oh, that's pretty. Oh, we just come through the busy tourist section with all the restaurants. Very nice. Yeah. April and the shoulder season is such a great time to be exploring southern Spain. Today we've got around about 25 degrees and it's just lovely. Too many bloody people, man. <laughs> it's packed. This is a bit buzzy. It's dripping everywhere. Look at that. It's gone all over your top. I know. Look this at. Is, look this at. Is that. Normally, where we do commentary, but oh, it's too good. 
Conil is famous for two things. The first is its tuna fishing, of which there is a museum at La Chance to tell you all about their tradition. And the second is their very rare black ibis. More on that in a minute. So when by the beach, one has to go paddling, doesn't one? Come on. Good morning, early morning, Conel. Look at this. Looks like I found a little bit of a nature reserve for the uh, very famous and rare ibis. Oh, I'm going to keep my eyes open for those this morning. In fact, so rare, it's actually on the extinct species list for Andalusia. Although it looks like there's um, a couple of pairs down by the tower. Just seeing one of the ibis. They're actually nesting on the top of the tower. Here he goes. Say, I'll be a bit honest, I've not done any research on Merida other than we came here in our first year out. I think no it research. Was week three and we tried to park up by the stadium and uh, there was too much graffiti and it was all a bit too much for us year one so we didn't explore i know it's uh pretty special with its roman ruins and that's what we're off to explore we'll be very honest though we had a bit of a technological meltdown so apologies for the quality of the video It's a Roman's famous 360, <laughs> the Roman amphitheatre in Merida Esopania. Today we are going to be bringing you on board with us as we enter a villa which is in the Castillon y Leon region of uh, Spain in line with Salamanca so we're quite high and yet in April we're still 23 degrees actually really nice to get a little bit of relief from all the heat 23 degrees whoop, whoop. and it's also uh, the a long bank, bank holiday weekend for Labour Day and guess what everyone's gone to the coast so we're hoping it should be quite um, quiet whoop, whoop. we'll see we've got a nice little air there's a very special reason that we've come here at Miles's request he doesn't very often ask to come to places so when he does we make sure we try and build it in We'll show you all about it very soon, so stay tuned. Stay tuned. And as we headed north towards Avia, we went through some amazing scenery. Although I tell you what, we were not expecting this. Well, that's a castle and a half, isn't it? Oh, wow. Benvenido, yeah, thanks. Oh. Oh, wow! Oh, that's not too bad a view, is it? The uh, official camping just there it does look like there's two spaces available which you can book online. Although I think we, uh, we may just stay here tonight. 
the 30,000 other people. They're meant to be at the coast, what's going on? The via is absolutely beautiful with the setting sun. What a beautiful place. No wonder UNESCO has it on their list. It's Sunday, the 30th of April. It's a bit chilly. We're how many metres up? 1,095. So it's quite chilly uh, and we've paid five euros each to go and have a little tour of the walls. They are super, super impressive. So we're going to show you a little bit of them today. Are you ready? Let's go. Very, very steep steps. Don Pan. Get it? He's a baker. Don. If you come to a via, you have to try one of their local sweets. It's just called a Yamas. And this is the place to do it. So okay. Tell us how it's done. Okay. Uh, you cook uh, egg yolk and sugar together and when it's cooked we put it the uh, the almond yeah. and the ham uh, and we put in a tray like this like this and uh, keep in the fridge uh, 24 hours okay so then you can you have this okay okay ah so that looks almost like marzipan yeah more, yes. more or less similar okay. And then you you make the balls with the with the help of a glass sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then you put it in a tray again, yeah. and you burn the you burn the, the sugar. Tops. Okay, fantastic. Since 1860, yeah, uh, this pastry is uh, working here oh, in the okay. same building, and then uh, they invent the egg yolk and it's the most uh, typical dessert here in okay. Africa. I wish he'd stop dinging them bells! Thank you, Avia. What an incredible experience you were. Completely caught us off guard. We really were not expecting it to be like this. We came up for a very different reason. Let us tell you a little bit about that now. I was reading on the BBC website something about a homemade submarine, <laughs> which caught my interest. So I read on and it said, it's in a town called a villa in the, in the centre of Spain. It's a homemade submarine and it's used to smuggle 150 million pounds worth of street value of cocaine from South America. I thought, I've got to go see that. So that's where we came to a villa. Unfortunately, what I read was it's in a car park. <laughs> what I didn't read was it's in the Police Academy car park and the BBC got a special dispensation to have a look at it. Anyway, we've just been and asked, and they've said no. <laughs> I said, oh, but he said, if you park in the park arc over there, you can walk along the road and you can see it from the roadside, which is what we're going to do just now. We'll show you in a minute. There it is, made out of fiberglass. 150 million pounds worth of cocaine smuggled in the back of that. And it's now in the police academy on display and this is as close as we can get to it. 
And as we headed north towards Riano, boy did we come across some amazing scenery. There were two things we learned about Riano. First, its place upon this beautiful curvaceous land is actually not as old as it first appears. Its origins are way below the surface of this newly created reservoir. Together with six other villages, Riano was sent to a watery grave when the reservoir was built to service the hydroelectric plant. Back in the 1980s, brick by brick, this village was taken up to the mountain sides. The second thing we learnt was about Lyon's ancient sport of la lucha, which is best described, in my words, as Spain's version of sumo wrestling. And it's over a hundred years old. And Riano has the most wonderful stadium. This is a very special place. más bonitas de España. Yes, Jess. And this is where we call home. This is a free air. We're allowed 48 hours here. Just beautiful. actually uh, 15th century, although reconstructed in 1751, and its role was to defend the Astres from its invaders in the port. There are a lot of steps in the Astres, so in terms of any mobility issues, you need to park up at the um, top car park where there's a beautiful viewpoint. Our last day in Spain before we head off for the ferry tomorrow. I can't believe we've been given such a treat. 